Hey guys, I'm Nick, and today is not a recipe video. Today is a super exciting announcement for me because I've been working on something for a couple weeks now, or actually a couple months, and I've teased you guys with this in the past and in the last couple of days. Um, and I'm super excited to show you what it finally is. It's down here, I'm gonna show you guys and get it over with. Ta-da! This is my 2017 Cupcake Annual. So this is a calendar with all of my favorite cupcakes from 2016 in a cute little calendar that you can sit on your desk or you can hang it on the wall. It's got lots of colorful photos. Let me show you one of the pages. So this is one of my favorite cupcakes that I made this year. This is my meat choc chip freak shake cupcakes that I did with a uh, with Yolanda Gant from How to Cake. It was a collab that we did together. Um, so let me just explain a couple of things about this calendar because I know you guys are going to have questions and I want to answer them before you ask. Nick, does this have recipes in it? The calendar does not have recipes in it. Before you get bummed out about that, let me explain why. So a couple reasons. I wanted to keep it really, really simple. I wanted nice big photos of cupcakes on each page. I've got the title underneath the cupcake and I've got the calendar down here. So the title is there so that you guys can hop on the website, thescranline.com and find the recipe for each cupcake on each page. Now the other reason why I decided to leave the recipes out is because having the recipes in there would mean smaller photos of cupcakes or extra pages which would mean this would cost more. So I wanted to keep this as cheap as I could. Um, it's really well produced and printed as well, so it's not like a cheap calendar. It's really, really nice. Um, and I wanted to make sure that everyone could order this. The calendar is going to cost $12.99 Australian dollars. The other thing is shipping. Shipping outside of Australia is going to cost $8 Australian. It's going to cost $2 if you're in Australia. Now, I know that might sound unfair, like $8 might be a bit too much, but I just want to remind you guys that I'm not the delivery company. I didn't set the prices. This was originally going to cost $20 to ship, which is ridiculous. But it's down to $8, and it's, uh, I think that's a good price. These are going to go on sale on Friday. You'll find the link on the homepage of my website on Friday. Uh, that'll take you to my Shopify store and from there you'll be able to order these. Now, I have very foolishly printed a thousand of these and I'm hoping that enough of you order these that it doesn't make me feel like that was a mistake. <laughs> so the first 500 people to pre-order this are going to get a signed copy. So I've left a little bit on the back. I've got a cute little message for you guys on the back. I've left a little space down there to sign it for those who order the first 500 copies. So guys, the calendar unfortunately is not going to be arriving to you guys before Christmas. And I'm really sorry about that. That's completely my fault. I left the, the printing too late. And so uh, unfortunately, if you order them on Friday, there's very little chance they'll arrive on Christmas or before Christmas. Um, again, I'm really, really sorry about that. Super, super, super sorry about that. I don't know if there's anything else I need to tell you about this. I'm really excited about it. I'm super proud of it. I designed it all myself and it is really, really nice. I think you guys are gonna love it. Um, super excited for you guys to get it and then send me photos of you guys holding it. And um, if you have any questions or I've left something out, leave me a question in the, in the comment section below. Um, but I hope you guys love this and are as excited about it as I am. I can't wait for you guys to get these. Friday, they're going on sale on my website. I hope you guys ordered them. I really, really hope you guys ordered them. Um, and that's it guys. I think I've rambled on enough. I will see you guys in the next episode of The Scram Line.